In this video we're going to look at three simple qigong exercises for stimulating the lymphatic system. Okay, so I'm going to start with a brief description of what the lymphatic system is so that you can piece together um, how these exercises fit in with that. If you want to skip that and go straight to the exercises, just scroll along, scrub along, you'll find the exercises soon uh, and you can go straight to those. So the lymphatic system, it's an interesting system in the body. Uh, it runs throughout the body and it's used for carrying uh, away excess extracellular fluid from the body. And so part of this, it has a big role in carrying cellular wastes out from the cells and then taking it back where it can be processed and excreted from the body. For the, what's interesting about it, one thing that's interesting about it as a fluid circulation system is it doesn't have a specific pump. The, the blood circulation system has your heart beating away. So if you think of the blood vessels as like pipes, then you know it's beating away um, squeezing like a pump to push the fluids through those pipes. The lymphatic system doesn't work like that. It's, a, it's kind of like a passive circulation system. It gets powered, it gets moved by the body moving. That is what makes the fluid move within the, the lymphatic system so it can be carried away. A little bit like, maybe you know like those really old school uh, analog watches where just by you moving around it created a self-winding mechanism to keep that uh, watch ticking. So if it just sits for a long period of time, the clock will stop, or the watch will stop. But if the person wears it regularly, it just keeps going because the movement keeps it winding, keeps it going. Lymphatic system's a little bit like that. It relies on physical movement to, to get, keep things moving and to carry those wastes away. One of the reasons why it's so important to move now that movement doesn't have to be super strong in order to circulate the lymphatic fluid, but we do need to get everything moving. If you become stiff and stuck, um, this can stop the lymph fluid from moving pro uh, properly, and also parts of the lymphatic system can become blocked up, in which case that's gonna stop it moving as well, and those blockages need to be broken up so that the fluid can move through. Okay, on to the three simple exercises. Did I say three exercises? I think I'm actually going to do four. There'll be a bonus one in there as well. But we will start with the first one. So really, really simple. Uh, if you're familiar with the different long white cloud qigong practices that are currently available, um, you'll recognize this one in a couple of different places. So we lift our hands up high and we simply drift them side to side. So we find this one in the five waves uh, and you also find it in waking the chi uh, with different names in the different ones because we focus on different things uh, so one it's used for the wood element in the five waves and then it's also used as stirring the clouds and waking the chi but how does this relate to the lymphatic system well as i mentioned uh, sometimes we can become stiff and blocked if we have really bad posture where we pull in like this or something like that this can create tension which stops the lymph from flowing there are nodes in the lymphatic system in key places particularly under the arms particularly in the neck particularly in the groin places like this and if we have tension in these areas it can stop the whole system from flowing very well this movement here when we open up and it's only a very gentle movement but as we move side to side, just breathing naturally, we get this really nice, it's a very gentle loosening all the way down, even through the hips and so on. Very gentle loosening, 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 to just gently open and loosen so things can start to flow through quickly. I'm just doing each of these exercises um, very briefly. Um, but so you can get the idea of it. You can do this exercise, you can spend a good 5-10 minutes just, just drifting side to side to let things open up so the, the flow can be smooth. So that was number one, let's move on to number two. So the next thing that we can do, or a, another simple exercise that comes from Qigong that we can use for the lymphatic system, is some of the self-massage that we do. Often we use this as a cool down, uh, sometimes it can be used as a warm-up as well and so the type of massage that we'll do um, typically we will start in our lower back and we'll 
massage the lower back. But then we pat. We pat down the back of the legs. So we pat all the way down. Then we come up the inside of the legs, up the body. We go out the inside of the arm, up the outside of the arm, out the inside of the other arm, up the outside of the arm, over your face, over your head, over your neck. Down, 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 up, 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 up. And we go all the way around and, and hopefully you can do you can do that as many times as you like but hopefully everything starts to feel a little bit warm and tingly and active and if you did have areas where the fluid was a little bit uh, blocked up through attention helps to break it up again so that the fluid can start to flow and the lymph can start to flow so that's number two number three okay the primary pump of the lymphatic system again it's powered by all of the physical movement of our body the primary pump is the biggest muscles in our body though. So this is the thighs, the legs, this is the main pump to get these fluids going. There's a really great Qigong exercise that you can do gently or you can do vigorously that works right through the legs and it actually comes all the way up through the body and all the way through the arms as well and it gets things circulating, gets things moving right through the whole system. I'll show you that one now. It's, it's a type of breathing squat, um, different names for it, sometimes called a bounding leopard, uh, and you'll see why hopefully as I do it. So very simply, we breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. So breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, using the legs and the arms together. There are a few variations of that, but this is the general idea. We brush the ground, we bring our arms back, we keep them back, and you can feel as your arms stay back and rise up that it brings the stimulation right up through your back, and then we come forwards, and we get everything flowing, everything circulating, everything moving. And again, you find that exercise in a few different places. We do use that um, within the release of the power of your breath breathing course specifically in context of developing breathing skill uh, with, the, with the muscles and coordination with the muscles uh, and you also find it in waking the chi. Um, anyway, okay, so that's number three. Now on to number four, the last one. This one's a pretty fun one. Again, this is all about movement of fluid through the tissues. For this one, it's simply bouncing and shaking. And so you can start this very simply. I'll, I'll move the camera again. Here we go. You can start this very simply. Just up and down, 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 up and down. And just feel this gentle shaking, bouncing through your body. So it's not the kind of exercise that we normally think about. I mean, a lot of Qigong exercises aren't really like going to the gym and uh, uh, working our muscles, things like that. But what we're doing is we're loosening things up. We're, if there's anything blocked or tight, we're loosening it up so that the fluid can flow. And so bouncing, 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 bouncing. You can then move this into lots of different ways. You can, with your arms out, You'll notice some different parts move more when you shift your arms out. And then eventually, a little bit more challenging, but not too hard, same thing. Arms up, bouncing, loosening. And again, I'm just doing these, each of these very briefly. But if you do that for a few minutes and you bounce into it and you stop, you can feel the movement of fluid through your body, you can feel alive you can feel the energy stimulated in the circulation this helps to clear all the blockages helps things to move so that they can be processed and cleared away okay so i guess again hopefully hopefully the exercises themselves are useful to you um, and yeah this is going to be part of a three-part series if you've just come to this video um, this is in response to a question someone asked about exercises it was particularly for the pancreas and also for the lymphatic system and normally I keep most of the really instructional material on the Long White Cloud Qigong uh, website 
and I try to do a better job. This is just kind of impromptu filming. Um, and also I, 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 on the Long White Cloud Qigong website, we have structured courses to help you to uh, learn and understand things really well. But this is part two because both of these are leading towards a third topic which I'm going to talk about because I thought it would be an interesting thing to discuss um, and interesting to yeah, give people some things to think about in the context of, of Qigong um, and what you can do with it, how it works and so on. So look out for that one, that one will be out soon as well. If you happen to like the Qi shirt, this is a Qi logo, the symbol for energy, um, or Qi hoodie in this case, I will put a link to where you can find that below as well. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. And if you have enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. It does help the channel and will help other people to find, um, find this information.